That one good looking chef or what? Stop it. I have my meat sauce. Um, this is just my basic meat sauce recipe, about a pound and a half of ground meat. Today I'm using ground sirloin because it was on sale. I brown that, I season the meat with garlic, Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, whatever. Um, sometimes I cut up onions, still not feeling good, not doing that today. Ground the meat, drain it, and just put two jars of whatever sauce that you like. I happen to like the Target, I think it's four cheese sauce, and it's like a, I can get it for a dollar jar um, on occasion. So this is just simmering on the stove because I did ask my husband, can I just put regular sauce? And he said, it's not the same without meat sauce. I have my water boiling for my noodles, and then I'm getting ready to put the ricotta mix together. And basically what I will use is a 15 ounce container of part skim ricotta cheese. This will make one pan of lasagna. I usually add about one or two eggs depending on the consistency. I'm gonna add just a dash of half and half because I put so much shredded cheese in it, it gets kind of thick. I am going to put a, what is this? Eight ounce package of the six cheese Italian shredded cheese into the ricotta mix. Um, this will be sprinkled in the layers, the mozzarella for the top and the layers. And I think, and of course, Italian seasoning, whatever. I'll put it all in the bowl and then kind of show you what it looks like. So this is the consistency of the cheese um, before I put the shredded cheese in. I may want to add a little bit of half and half to this after I add the cheese. So we're going to go ahead and add the cheese one-handed. See how talented I am. Sorry about the cheese in front of the camera. So I'm just going to add this whole bag. This is why we don't eat lasagna very often because I put way too much cheese in it. So I'm going to mix this and I think I will add just um, the tiniest dash of half and half just to make it a little creamier. It's a whole lot easier to spread on top of the lasagna layers when it is a little bit creamier. So I know this is very exciting. Actually, I think I'm going to leave it. I'm going to mix it up a little bit better and see what the consistency is. But that's it. So ricotta cheese, two eggs, a dash of half and half, some seasoning, and then eight ounces of your favorite shredded Italian cheese. The water for the noodles is boiling. I took it off the heat so I could show you how I put the noodles in. I kind of put the noodles in kind of in like a pinwheel or like a spoke pattern. That way all of the noodles get the hot water on them. And I do use a whole box of lasagna noodles um, because sometimes they break, sometimes they just aren't fabulous, and sometimes I need fillers because my pan is too big. So I'm just going to continue to put them in in this fashion, and then once they're all in, I will give them a stir. Okay. So what I'm just going to do, the noodles are done, I'm just going to try and pour as much of the hot boiling water out as possible. Get a little pasta facial. I don't usually put them in the strainer. I don't know why, my mother did it this way, so that's how I do it. So once I get as much of the hot water out without the noodles falling, I'm just gonna keep filling it up with cold water until the noodles are cool enough for me to touch, and then we will assemble the lasagna. All right, so we are ready to assemble the lasagna. I have my sauce, my cheese mixture, my noodles, my shredded cheese, and my pan. This pan may be a little big, but I think we're gonna make it work. So, now I always found this very strange, but this is the way you're supposed to do it. I thought you would put the pasta layer first, but I guess it will stick if you do that. So you have to put sauce first, which I don't know, I thought that was strange. And you just kind of want to coat the bottom of the pan with the sauce, trying not to make a huge mess. You want to just make sure you get it to all the edges so that the noodles don't stick and all that fabulousness. So next is the noodles. And I'm going to do them to one end of the pan because they're not really long enough. And there's so much cheese in this lasagna, it'll definitely hold. It'll be all, <laughs> excuse me. It will be just fine. Huh. All right, so now you're going to do more sauce. I 
and then cheese. Oh, try not to make a mess. That's why people wear aprons, I'm sure. And then I'm just gonna smooth it. I don't worry about doing the sauce first and then the cheese. It's one big casserole. It all goes in the same place. You just wanna make sure there's cheese kind of in every bite. I think I'll add a little extra cheese. I usually try to do three layers of cheese and sauce. And then just mix this all up like so. Do you want more sauce, dear, or is this good enough sauce? Mm -hmm. That should work. Okay, so now you've got this layer done. I'm just gonna take a little bit of the mo shredded mozzarella and I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit, because remember, we've got quite a bit of shredded cheese in the cheese mixture. So now we're going to do noodles again, and this time I'm gonna start the noodles on this end and put the noodle this way, and I think we're gonna do three layers, and then I'll show you when we get to the end. Okay, I actually did one more layer than I thought I was gonna have enough noodles for, so I only had two noodles left for the top, but I'm gonna go ahead and put those on, and then I'm just gonna top this with sauce, See the rest of the sauce. Now at Christmas, I make this up to a month in, in advance and then I go ahead and freeze it. So I'm just gonna kind of smooth the sauce over as much as possible. Again, this doesn't have to be pretty. And I'm just gonna use what left, what I have left of the cheese and just sprinkle this on. Tony is not a big cheese fan. I don't know if you've ever heard our story about when we first got married and I put cheese on everything and he was an extremely good sport about that so I try not to use too much cheese on most things but lasagna is not one of them so this is what the final layer looks like I wish I had just a little bit more cheese but that's what we have I'm going to put this in an oven at 375 degrees from 45 minutes to an hour I start watching it after 45 minutes to make sure that the top isn't getting too brown so that's what we're gonna do. Yeah. All right, don't look at my dirty oven. <laughs> Time to take the lasagna out. Oh my God, it's heavy. Yum, yum, yum. And we're making garlic rolls today. If you wanna know how to make the garlic rolls, we will put the link down below for our blog post. And of course, the tea. I have to doctor that up. So, that's what's for lunch. This is the part we go, ah, oh, it tastes so good. Is it the best lasagna you've ever had, mm -hmm. David? Before I even take a bite. Mm, look at all that gooeyness in there. Well, You're stealing from the next piece, no, Dave. No, I'm cleaning up the rest of my left. Dig in. Maureen, you're in the frame, so you might as well just stop it. <laughs> just stop it. I'm not here. I'm not eating lasagna. I still do not want to admit you're eating lasagna. I'm a vegetarian. Put that comment down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, honey. Ooh, hot. Just came out of the oven. He's going to burn his mouth. That's going to be your reaction. Right. Polish Anything for the vlog, right, babe? Mm, Is it good? good. Mm -hmm. All vlog right, Dave. With yeah, vlog, vlog with me, yeah. It's the best good. Caesar salad. Oh, please. It's bago salad, the Caesar salad. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's good. <laughs> 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 See, David does anything for the vlog. Burn his mouth. Not hot. It was a little hot. Mine's good. Got to cool down a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have homemade garlic rolls, lasagna, bago salad, and we have strawberry shortcake for dessert. Did you hear that story? So we're having mock strawberry shortcake for dessert. The pound cakes, how big of a piece do you want, baby girl? Like right there? Sure. The pound cakes are buy one, get one free at Publix. And then I just bought some strawberries, sprinkled some sugar on top of them. Put those on top of the pound cake. How many strawberries do you want? More? That's it. Right there. You want whipped cream? Sure. And then just a little bit of whipped cream. Whoop. <laughs> and there you go. Um. Thank you.